Welcome back ladies and gents. In this particular teaching video, I'll be looking at 3.1 linear simultaneous equations. 3.1 represents chapter 3, section 1 of the Pearson A-Level Maths, PO Maths, Year 1 textbook. I've got two examples up on the board. Part A, solve the simultaneous equations by elimination. Part B, solve the simultaneous equations by substitution. These are two different techniques. Let's have a look at part A. The very first step, ladies and gents, is to label your equations. So I've got equation 1 and equation 2. The second step is to have a look at the x's or the y's. I'm going to have a look at the y's. The coefficient of y in equation 1 is 3. The coefficient of y in equation 2 is 9. I'm going to turn the coefficient of y in equation 1, which is 3, into a 9 by multiplying equation 1 by 3. So equation 1 multiplied by 3. So, this gives me 7x multiplied by 3, which is 21x. 3y multiplied by 3 is 9y. And 16 multiplied by 3 is 48. So, I'm going to call this equation, equation number 3. Now, I'm going to put equation 2 underneath equation 3. So, I've got 2x plus 9y is equal to 29. That's equation 2. Okay, so if I subtract the two equations, that will eliminate the y. So 21x take away 2x is 19x. 9y take away 9y is just 0y, or you could write 0, or you could just leave it blank over here. Equal 48 take away 29 is 19. Okay, so now I can divide both sides by 19. This will give me x equal 1. The next step is to substitute x equal 1 into equation 1, 2 or 3. It's up to you. So I'm going to substitute into equation 1. So if I do this, I get 7 multiplied by 1 plus 3y is equal to 16. So this gives me 7 plus 3y equals 16. So 3y is equal to 9. Hence, y is equal to 3. Okay, so the solutions are x equal 1, y equal 3. Now, what do these solutions represent graphically? Well, these two equations over here represent the equations of a straight line. The solution x equal 1 and y equal 3 represents the point of intersection between these two lines. So the coordinate of the point of intersection between these two lines will therefore be 1, 3. Okay, let's move on to the next simultaneous equations. We're going to solve these simultaneous equations by the method of substitution. The very first step is to label your equations. So I've got equation 1 and equation 2. Now, in equation 1, I can make y the subject or x the subject. However, if I make x the subject, my x equation will involve a fraction which becomes a lot more trickier. So what I would do is make the y the subject. Okay, so if I make y the subject, this gives me y equal 3x minus 7. So y equal 3x minus 7, I can call it equation 3. Now I need to substitute equation 3 into equation 2. So if I do this, this gives me 10x plus 3 lots of y, which is 3x minus 7, is equal to minus 2. So we need to expand the bracket. So this gives me 9x minus 21. So we've got equal minus 2. Now we need to make x the subject. 10x plus 9x is 19x minus 21 equal minus 2. So 19x is equal minus 2 plus 21, which is 19. And finally, to work out x, we can divide both sides of the equation by 19. So x is equal to 1. Now I can substitute x equal 1 into equation 1, 2 or 3. The easiest option would be equation 3, because y is already the subject. So y is equal to substitute x equal 1. So y is equal to 3 
multiplied by 1, take away 7. y is equal to minus 4. Okay, so we have x equal 1 and we have y equal minus 4. So what do uh, these solutions represent graphically? Again, these solutions over here represent the point of intersection between these two straight lines. So in coordinate form, the point of intersection will then be 1 and minus 4. Okay, so these are the two different techniques of solving simultaneous equations. Elimination and substitution. Here is an exam style question. 3x plus ky is equal to 8. x minus 2ky is equal to 5. Are simultaneous equations where k is a constant. So if k is a constant, it could be 0, it could be positive, or a negative constant. Part A, show that x is equal to 3. Part B, given that y is equal to a half, determine the value of k. So let's start off with part A. Okay, first of all, what we want to do is eliminate the y's in the equation in order to work out x and get x equal 3. So the very first step is to label your equations. I've got equation 1 and equation 2. Now for equation 1, the coefficient of y is k. For equation 2, the coefficient of y is minus 2k. So what I want to do is take the coefficient of y in equation 1, which is k, and make it into a 2k. So I need to multiply the whole of equation 1 by 2. Okay, so if I do that, that's going to give me equation 3. So I've got 3x times 2, which is 6x. ky times 2 is 2ky equal 8 times 2, which is 16. Now, I'm going to take equation 2 and I'm going to put it underneath equation 3. So I've got x minus 2ky is equal to 5. That's equation 2. To eliminate the y's, I need to add the two equations. 2ky plus minus 2ky is just 0. Okay, 6x plus x is 7x. This becomes 0, okay, equal... 16 plus 5, which is 21. So now I can divide both sides of the equation by 7. Therefore, x is equal 21 divided by 7, 3 as required. So that there completes part A. Moving on to part B. So it says, given that y is equal a half, so I've got y equal a half, and also I've got x equal 3, what I want to do now is work out the value of k. So I can substitute y equal a half and x equal 3 into equation 1, for example, to work out k. So substitute into equation 1. So if I do this, I have 3 multiplied by 3 plus k multiplied by a half. This must equal 8. Okay, so I can clean this up and solve for k. 3 times 3 is 9, plus a half times k is a half k, equal 8. So take 9 to the right-hand side. A half k is equal 8, take away 9, which is minus 1. Multiply both sides by 2. Therefore, k is equal minus 2. That is the value of the constant k. And that there, guys, completes this particular teaching video. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.